pulled from the rubble following yet another day of strikes carried out by the Russian military. Ukrainian authorities say cities across the country were targeted. In Zaporizhia, a residential building was damaged, forcing its residents out into the freezing cold. I saw that there was going to be an air raid and bombing, so we quickly, quickly ran to the bomb shelter. Later we got a phone call and found out what happened to the building. But we were in shelter at 7 a.m. If we were at home, nothing good would come out of it. Rescue workers delivered aid and told residents they would cover the blown out windows. In Kyiv, residents rushed to shelters, but there were no reports of any missiles hitting targets in the capital. This has become a regular occurrence when air raid sirens are sounded. Last month, Kyiv was hit, killing more people across the capital. In Krivary, one woman was killed and children were among the wounded. Authorities there say a shopping center and residential buildings were hit. Ukraine says 59 cruise and ballistic missiles as well as drones were fired by Russian forces. It claims 26 were intercepted. More than half managed to get through. Ukraine has not said whether any of its military sites were hit or if it suffered any military losses. Since December 29th, there's been an increase of aerial attacks carried out by both sides and there's no sign that there will be a let-up in strikes anytime soon. Asad Beg, Al Jazeera, Kyiv. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.